everyone i pray that you are having an awesome day we are back for another lunch and learn amen so let's start today's video with a prayer lord we want to thank you for this day we thank you for your goodness and your mercy we ask oh god that as we study your word that your word will accomplish everything that you have sent it forth to do in our lives in jesus name amen so today we're going to be talking about the adversity of delay and I know that that title sounds a bit obscure, a bit weird, but we're going to break it down. So Google defines adversity as difficult or unpleasant situation. We are talking about the difficulty or the unpleasantness in delay. Now, usually when we talk about how unpleasant it is to wait or to be patient, we always see it in a bit of like a negative sense, but today we're going to be talking about it in the positive sense. Why is it okay to feel uncomfortable or to find difficulty in waiting, difficulty in delay? And we're specifically going to be talking about the delay of one particular thing. But why do we find it so hard to wait? Um, apart from our human nature that we all are in a rush, we want everything quickly, this is like more than the McDonald's or the microwave generation. This is like the instant gratification, instant everything generation. Uh, we want everything instantaneously transferred over into our spiritual life. We want our prayers to be answered instantaneously. We want our blessings right away. We want everything right away. We want to feel like everything is just happening at our speed. We have to remember that God lives outside of time. We are in this world where everything is affecting us. Gravity, time, everything is taking its course. However, God is outside of that. He is omnipresent, he is omnipotent, and time does not affect him. The Bible says that for the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. So we can see that there's a very different scale of time that we and the Lord are working with. So today's talk is about this groaning, this delay that we feel that is hard to understand and hard to accept because our spiritual man feels this unpleasantness of our situation. And we look at how far we've come from the promise of God and where we are today and how wicked the world is today. We cannot help but feel this groaning in our spirit the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 2, talks about the fact that in our spirit, we are groaning and desiring to put on this new man, to be clothed with the spirit of the Lord, with a different life, a different atmosphere. We start to feel this heaviness of the wickedness and the weight of the world around us. I know that a lot of people say that fall is their favorite season of the year. Fall is actually a very difficult season for me. Um, it's been a few years that I've noticed, especially in the month of October. Yes, there is a lot of darkness at play, and I hope you guys have noticed. There's Halloween, there's all the Halloween shows, but there are stores that pop up just for Halloween. Um, they have this, this nuance term that's called the spirit of Halloween and when we think of spirit we know that the spiritual world is very real so when you term anything spirit uh, right away my antennas go up and I think of the spiritual realm I think that in the book of Ephesians it talks about principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places in the atmospheres of our world there are these spiritual forces at work and especially in the month of october i feel it areas in your life that you notice you are not as sensitive as you used to be or as you are supposed to be according to the word of god you should really examine your spiritual man and your walk with god and ask the lord to increase your sensitivity um, it is so important that in today's world that we always have our antennas up. I want you to see it as impatience. I want you to see it as a godly sense of being uncomfortable. It is okay to look around, to notice the darkness and the wickedness of this world, and to not like it. It is okay that as a believer in Jesus Christ, and as someone who is walking and working out our faith, to not want to take part in the things of this world. It is okay for us to feel a separateness from the things of this world. We live in this world, but we are not of this world. The things that are happening in this world are beside us. We are trying to make it through this life, 
day in and day out. You wake up every day, you have your struggles, you have things that you need to do, things that you have to accomplish, and we have to try to do that in a world that is not made for us. It's not catering to our spiritual life. So that groaning that you feel is normal. It's just telling you that you are spiritually alive and that is what you want to feel. You want to feel everything that you need to know that you are spiritually alive. And being spiritually alive is sometimes noticing that certain things are not for you. They do not feel good, they are not comfortable, you do not need to conform. Actually, much the opposite. The Bible tells us not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, amen. So when you are renewed in your mind, when you are renewed in prayer, you will always feel that sense of difficulty or unpleasantness in this world. We have to remember that we are the salt and the light of this world, and we cannot give up. We can't give up on ourselves, we cannot give up on each other, and we cannot give up on the souls that need us. If the video has been a blessing to you, if it has, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. I pray that you would consider subscribing. Please share the video with someone. And until next time, remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care and God bless. Bye.